Welcome back to Inside Southeastern Baseball with head coach JRTs, presented by your local Southern Quality Four Dealers and also Champagne Beverage. It's now time to take a look at our Lion Profile of the Week, and this week we're going to check in with Miss Ruth Keneally. On any given game night, right there on the second row of Box 16 at Alumni Field, you will find Miss Ruth Keneally. But it's not just Alumni Field to her. It's Pat Keneally Diamond at Alumni Field, or as many refer to it as the Pat. Oh, Pat Keneally would love it. He would absolutely love it. And I am so honored that they named this the Pat because a lot of a lot of places I'll be in there and say, well, Miss Ruth, how are you doing? Well, I'm doing fine. Well, are you going to the Pat tonight? I said, yes, I'm going to the Pat tonight and my kids from Baton Rouge are coming. Miss Ruth has been coming to baseball games since before there were stands to sit in and the outfield fence was then a chain link fence. We didn't have this wonderful facility. It would rain every day and we had an old piece of carpet and we'd lay the carpet down and then we'd put our beat up rackety old lawn chairs on the carpet and that's where we watched the, uh, the uh, lines every day. And now she sits in her box seat, but it's a rare occasion that Miss Ruth can watch the game because usually she's busy talking to all the fans who stop by for a visit. Well, I love everybody. I was brought up as an only child, and so I had to depend on everybody else to entertain me because I had no brothers and sisters. So I learned to love everybody at an early age, and I appreciate everybody coming and speaking to me. Miss Ruth has a special relationship with current Lion skipper J.R. Teagues, and she is well aware of all the strides the program has made under Jay. Jay is doing a wonderful job and I'm so proud that we have him and he has really brought Southeastern Lions baseball to where we are today and I'm going to give him all the credit. Every time Miss Ruth exits Alumni Field, she walks out the main gate and catches a glimpse of her former husband, Mr. Pat Keneally, and she wishes he was still around to see Lion baseball and what it has become. He would say, young man, that's a job well done. I'm proud of you. Coach, before we talk about Miss Ruth, we want to thank Brady's for bringing out some delicious food. As you can see, we've got some seafood ravioli, some ribs, and a Reuben here that we're going to dive into in just a few minutes, and Brady's really takes care of us. See, this is the worst part of the show because as soon as the food comes on, I'm ready to get the show over with and dive into this. So. Um, but they do. They're very great to us, and the food here is outstanding. Well, Coach, Miss Ruth Keneally, uh, you know she's always at those ball games, sitting right down the third baseline. Uh, talk about her. Miss Ruth is a special person. I tell you, she's at all the ball games supporting us. Win or lose, she shows the support. You know, and a lot of people ask about, you know, the Pat. You know, the Pat comes from our infield. Our diamond is named Pat Keneally Diamond after Miss Ruth's husband, Pat Keneally, who was a legend at Southeastern. You know, he's a legend here. You know, they're very generous to us, very good to Southeastern, and we love Miss Ruth for sure. All right, now let's take a look at the tip of the week with Coach Jay Ortiz. Welcome to this week's tip of the week. This week you can demonstrate leads at third base and how to come back to third base on a throw from the catcher. To help demonstrate that, we have Champ Ortiz. Champ's going to get his lead. Now, just like against a left-hander, he's going to make the ball clear the pitcher's face. Then he's going to get a brisk walk, weight on his right foot. He sees the throw back. He comes back with his left foot on an inside point. Stay right there. His eyes are up. That way, if the third baseman tries to come in, he's blocking the throw with his eyes up. He can see the errant throw and establish himself to home plate. That is this week's Tip of the Week. Coach, we see right there on the Tip of the Week, uh, your son, Champ Ortiz, uh, does a good job showing a good aggressive lead at third and being able to get back to the base. Yeah, you know, we showed how to get a lead at third base, and, and after the catcher receives it, when you sprint back to third base, we always teach not to slide going back to third, to stay in that throwing lane and block the throwing lane from the third baseman. He does a good job demonstrating for us. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll take a look at the Southland Conference standings to give you the scout report for this weekend right here on Inside Southeastern Baseball with head coach J.R.T.'s, presented by your local Southern Quality Floor Dealers and also Champagne Beverage.